That wasn't really complicated, it was just... I wasn't paying attention to the mission briefing, so I completely missed out on what I needed to do. The Guru has agreed to join our team, provided we can rid his homeland of the Dingo Miners and deal with the Mask of Dark Earth. A tall order, but we're up for it. First, we'll enlist the aid of some local wildlife to help fit out the Miners' ranks. Murray will feed our bows to a local giant crocodile. With some luck, he'll take a liking to the taste of Miners and chow down on them left and right. Second, we'll hit these guys where they live. Or at least, relax. If we can clear them out of this lemonade bar, it'll be a crippling blow to their morale. They'll be begging to go home. And finally, Sly will use some mining equipment to drill for radioactive oil deep beneath the dried lake bed. Trust me, it's the key to getting rid of the Mask of Dark Earth. Yeah, right. No mention of a boss battle with that mask? That ain't gonna happen. We're gonna have a boss battle. We better, at least. Yes, the hover pack! We are getting the hover pack. Yay. Wow. Jump attack level 1. Press triangle and X to do a jump attack. You don't have enough coin. Oh, okay. Rocket boots. Zoom through the world with these speedy boots. You don't have enough... No. Paraglide! Oh my god, I need the paraglide. I need the paraglide. I must have it. Okay, so I'm gonna need 700, well, maybe more, let's see, 900, 1300 coins, that's what I'm looking at right now. Damn, that's a lot of farming. Crap. And we're only on day two. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. We might as well do the Murray mission first, I mean, he's right there. subtracted a few miners from the equation. You know I don't understand that math talk. Uh, we need to, uh, uh put the smack down on these, uh, uh, bad dudes for justice. Righteous! I'm the man for the job! The guru will start luring miners to a position near this giant crocodile. Your job is to throw the thugs into the mouth of the monster. Teach him to like eating miners, huh? That's a sinister plan, Bentley. I approve. With some luck, the oversized reptile will be an invaluable asset in our efforts to drive away the miners. He might even take care of our Mask of Dark Earth problems. I've spotted it prowling near the safe house. Roger. It's feeding time. Hi, Eddie. I hate crocodiles. Not for any real reason, just from my experience from Sly 1. Nice! You'll need to give him a taste for both types of guards. Four oh. kangaroos and four dingoes should do it. Damn it, there's too many of them! Flop! Yes, oh, there we go. Hell yeah for the flop. Okay, do that again. Flop! Knock them all at once. And I'm gonna need some health soon. Dinner's ready! I might need a better flop than this, too. Damn. They're ambushing me! I can't do anything! Too many enemies! Must get health! Okay, seriously, I need health. Like, now. And that's not gonna be enough. Get them all, come on. And one lives. And he's the one that gets me, of course. Chop that clown in half. Oh, damn it. I don't have any time. And I'm dead. See, the problem with this is that there's too many attacking me at once. I'm trying to do the belly flop to take them all out, but... There remains one every single time, and he's always getting me. Nice. You'll need to give him a taste for both types of Like, there's always one in mid-air when I'm doing my belly flop. Do 
Damn it. Again, bad timing. The main problem is those damn kangaroos. I need to kill them first. No, not again. See, if I can take out the kangaroos each time, then I can just feed the dingoes to them, or the coyotes. Go! Faster! Remember to chew. Oh, yeah, now these guys get me. Hungry little fella? Damn it! Like I said, too many! Give me time to feed your comrades to the gator! Oh my god! Give me at least one, come on. No. <laughs> Almost swore there. Yeah, this is more or less just getting annoying. Screw it. There, that'll take care of a couple of them. Chow down, scaly. Oh my god again. I have a feeling this mission is going to take quite a while to do, mostly because I'm getting just overwhelmed. Nice. You'll need to give him a taste for both types of guards. Yeah, I know that. I'm just trying to get one at a time right now, because otherwise I'm getting ambushed when there's 50 on the screen at once. This is not Dynasty Warriors. The game does not get better when there's more enemies on the screen at once. Oh my god, I can't even give- I don't even have enough time to throw these guys! Just triangle spam, that's what I need to do. Triangle spam. That way, even if they're in the air, I'll be able to attack them. And no, I was aiming towards the gator! Eat up, pal! You like that, huh? Nope! Oh, missed! Ha! Missed! Oh, yeah. oh, thank God the gator does not eat me too. Okay, now all the... Now I just need to feed the dingoes, right. the coyotes. Miners are food. You like eating miners. Miner flavored miner. Yummy. You like eating miners. That's not really the type of thing you want to advertise in this type of game. Yes, last one. Great job. Oh, my God. Now feed the croc one last thing. A big, tasty flashlight guard. I've located one and marked him with a waypoint. Remember, you'll need to sneak up on this guy in order to grab him. Screw you. What if I don't want to? Murray, you'll need to sneak up on the fighter with a flashlight in order to grab him. And I pray that if I lose, uh, if I die right now, I don't have to repeat the entire thing again. Because that was just annoying as hell. Is there another way up there? Because this flashlight's, like, right on the ramp. Come on, don't turn around. Do not turn around, I'm begging you. Okay, thankfully they do not see me right now. I'm gonna have to wait for them to, like, turn and go the other way, though. It's a shame the gator did not swim over this way, though. Though, that would have been a little bit too easy, wouldn't it? Slowly go around. Oh my god, both paths. Croc's right there. Oh my god. And now... Oh, son of a... Great, now I have to get another one. Don't spot me, please. Okay, try this again. See, I can't even... Well, never mind. I can run. Go. Just go. Hightail it out of there. Because I don't have the health to die and to lose or whatever. Eat him! Take cover, Murray. Here comes a guard wearing the mask of Dark Earth. Let's see if all of your hard work with this croc pays off. That or he's going to be too fat and full and not be hungry enough to eat him. Oh, 
Commission, that mask keeps getting away. Since when do masks get away? Since now. Since the game wants to screw me over. Alright, Sly. I'm gonna have to spend so much time just farming for coins. Not now, obviously, because that would be way too boring to watch, but maybe off screen one day. Because there is so much I want to buy. Can't afford anything. You ready to head out for the oil fields? Should be right through this cave. Oh yeah! Bentley said there'd be heavy machinery and destruction going down! Sounds like your thing. Y-E-S, yeah! We're going after some radioactive oil, right? I don't know. I can never pay attention during those slideshows. Don't tell Bentley. Wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> they actually reference them. At least that explains why Mari is always asking questions as to what to do. Sly, phase one is to protect these power stations while Murray gets all six oil wells flowing. Use this Super Claw 10,000 to deal with any miners that might show up. Use the left analog stick to move the claw around. The X button will pick up and release items. Before you're spotted, why don't you pick up that rock and drop it in the pit? Like this? This is easy. You do seem quite adept. The other important feature on the 10,000 model is the throwing action. Just Ooh. pick up an item and press the circle button to throw them. You can throw things quite a ways. Go ahead and hit that electric fence with one of those rocks. This could be fun. I think I've got the hang of it. Nice shot. Let's see you do it again. Face ah. it, Bentley. I'm a natural. Hope you're right, because it looks like the miners are on to us. Defend the power stations by using everything and anything in the oil field. This electric fence should come in especially handy for dispatching guards. Here they come! I wonder if I can drop enemies into the water. Okay, never mind, my claw doesn't go that far. Oh! Sizzle that miner! Well, I got one more of these. Actually, I'm gonna save those until, like... Because I have a feeling that, uh... There's gonna be a huge horde of enemies sometime soon. Yeah! Give them the fence! And I'm gonna need those barrels for that. I'm afraid to ask, but I kind of hope that it gets a little bit more complicated than this. Because this is being a little bit too easy. Let's see if I can drop him into that hole. Coyote go down the hole. Oh my god, never mind. You can't throw him down the hole. Either that or my aim sucks. More than likely, my aim sucks. I wish I could have seen him land. Two down, uh. one to go. That guy's toast. Come on, a little bit more complicated than this. Yes, I'm asking for more of a challenge, so please provide me with one. They, what they probably want you to do is use these rocks and drop them on the enemies. Like that. All three wells are puking up the crude oil. Give me a lift to the next set. You need to take out the remaining guards before you hurry, Sly. Grab Murray and move before the miners get ahead of you. Okay, next section. So that was pretty much the tutorial, I would think. Okay, Sly. You better pick up the pace, Sly. Grab Murray and get going. Check there, go work on that guns. one. That pumping has gotten me pumped. Come on. Okay, so it looks like there may be three sections to this. And still, it's kind of easy. 
Come on, pick up the pace. He's so fried. I'm not gonna use a barrel on this guy. Huh. <sighs> and they're very forgiving too. I mean, you don't have to be exactly on these coyotes. He's not getting up. He's down for the count. Chase deadly fence, minor guy. Can I drop him on the barrels? Ooh, nice, I can. Man, this is Though that kind of ended up wasting two barrels, but, eh. It's like flies into a bug zapper. Can you work a little bit faster, Murray? I mean, this is getting boring. That's it! They're all gushing now! Nice work, guys. Now that all the oil wells are active, we can move on to phase two, where we light the crude oil on fire! Yeah, that yeah. sounds like fun. Let's head to the next oil field! I'm trying to pick you up. Come on, let me. What if I were to drop you in the water right now? What you would happen? better pick up the pace, Sly! Grab Mur Okay, Sly, it's safe to let Murray go now. Put you down right there. Oh, never mind. Let's get that oil burning. Sly, drop a flint rock on the end of that long plank. Murray, you'll then jump on the end and catapult the rock to the oil wells. The sparks on impact should start a fire. All right, where are the rocks at? Like that? No, that didn't. Oh my god, I thought I picked you up. What the hell? So much for the game being a little bit forgiving on picking these guys up, because I swear I was right above them right there and nothing. Maybe I drop it right there. No. Okay, so where am I dropping these things? It doesn't seem to be working. I dropped one right there a second ago. Oh, there we go. Now it works. So just do this six times, while making sure to also what? defend the land. Come on, another rock. Faster. Yeah, that can take a couple hits. It's not that big of a deal. It's pretty sturdy. Oh, two enemies. How he ended up getting dizzy and... Okay, never mind. I'm not even going to bother asking. But he was just, like, knocked out cold for no reason. I didn't drop anything on him. I didn't attack him. He was just automatically out cold. Doom on delivery. Come on. More rocks. And this will be the last one. Light, the pressure differential should draw the deep uranium enriched glowing oil to the surface. We'll need to be extremely careful in retrieving a small sample. Fly! Fly! Look at me! I'm glowing! Woo! That's probably not a good thing, Murray.